It's another alleged gameplay video. Welcome back. If you know the channel by now, if you know me by now, you will know that this is one of my all-time favourite arcade games. If I could own an arcade cabinet, just the one, it would be this. Now, this is going to be really difficult to play. Of all the things I've attempted through the viewfinder, this is a nightmare. But we'll persevere, yeah? So that was eight seconds when it should have been five or six. Because believe me, guys, I do know my way around this game. Let's just take my normal route. No, I'm going to get munched up. That'll do. Whoa, no, 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 no. Always go on the edge here. Always the edge. Always avoid the black marble. You never want to argue with black marbles. Come on. Oh, God. So this is actually on a compilation, so it's not an, it's no kind of, um, it's no kind of sort of homebrew emulation or anything. It's really nigh on impossible to play it like this. It really is. I really don't want to go back to capturing gameplay anymore because, I've, you know, the essence of the channel at the moment is to try and document every single game I've got. I mean, it just takes too much time up if you're going to capture everything and then you've got to edit it and render it and... Any ice cream scoop? So the thing is, how does this version play? And this is the weird thing because it doesn't behave that well with the uh, the D-pad. Oh God! Well, I did better than I thought. Let's put it that way. Um. Yeah. This version is a bit weird, apart from the fact that the aspect ratio, it is slightly stretched. I don't know why they felt the need to do that on the PSP. Um, it's certainly not stretched on the PlayStation 2 version. I suppose they thought because the PSP had a 16x9 screen anyway, they might stretch it slightly. Um, but the D-pad's weird because I can play this quite easily on the Mega Drive and clear it and do quite well. But this the D-pad seems a bit seems a bit off. So I'm trying to practice now with the analog the analog stick on this. So we'll see how we uh, we'll see how we get on. Um, and I will try and come up with a much more reliable way of uh, capturing capturing the portable stuff you know via a camera i'm not going to do it any other way so yeah marble madness my all-time favorite take care